Aquarius assemble. Aquarius, it's time for it's time for tarot. Okay, I'm done. Anyway, I wasn't gonna rhyme anymore. Anyway, <laughs> how are you guys doing? It's time for your December reading for 2018. I am not gonna be doing a mid December to January reading. I'm going to do a 2019 reading. I just need to make the spread for it because. Usually I try to make my own spreads or manipulate known spreads to my own liking. Because it just works better that way, if that makes sense. It's more connected. Well, you guys probably understand that, but that's beside the point. Anyway, it's your guys' turn for your reading. Oh my goodness. Um, well that was most of them, so we'll go with that. False offer and someone needs, wants to get the fuck out of Dodge. There you go. That's your reading. Have a good one. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. There's more to come. No whammies. Ah, it seems like you're not being too nurturing with yourself as a late, right? With the Empress reversed. Okay. Let's see here. We got Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. You feel like an, uh, like something you've been offered is going to consume you? Like it's, a, like it's more of a beast than what you reckoned for? It's a very interesting perspective, I have to say. Not one I would have thought of, but you know, that's me. I, I'm particular and annoying. Um, but yeah, like... That's kind of what it feels like, and... and that Ace of Pentacles, like... It's consuming you, and there isn't much of an offer to give. And you're kind of reflecting on that with the Four of Swords. You need recovery. You need to meditate. You need to think about shit. You need a break from this. You need to get the fuck away. <laughs> you need people to calm down. You need to calm down. And, like, here's someone not even coming with an offer because they're too busy, like, trying to start something new with the Fool. Like, could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo type, but they're too busy thinking about how they're going to take off in a leap of faith to whatever it is they've been wanting to really focus on giving any offer so they haven't been offering anything. They're just chilling. Probably longer than what they should, considering it's an Earth sign, but you know. And then they got the Knight of Wands over here. Someone is moving forward. Not backward to something that they're wanting. Because they don't know what the fuck to do. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> um, two of Swords. Definitely like something that Libra or even better, a Gemini would be doing. Just like, oh, I don't know. Maybe. Well, I guess. Hold on. Wait a minute. I changed my mind. You know, just going back and forth because they really don't know what it is they want to do. Like, they, like, there's a drive to want to leave, because the Knight of Wands is right here, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, but they don't know where they want to go, if they want to, like, stick around for this new beginning, or something to do with a childlike love that's right here, right? And there's this Leo, possibly, with this fire sign, who is also, <laughs> like, not trying to leave or go anywhere. What? Look, they're just both facing each other like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere either. Well, I'm not giving you this. Well, I'm not giving you this shit either. Fine, fine. You know? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, this person is holding out their strength and not wanting to leave. And this person wants to leave. They just ain't. <laughs> they're, like, not even thinking about it. Like, it, 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 and they're both offering each other, like, just bullshit about it. Like, they aren't even being honest with each other about it. One wants freedom and the other wants to. S s they want control. And now someone's afraid that, like, because they aren't capable of leaving completely, because this cup's holding them back, Eight of Cups reversed, they can't manifest anything. Like, they can't do anything. They are stuck with whatever comes, and if they mess something up, it doesn't mess up the way that they're hoping it will. It messes up in a whole worse way. And with this page of cups right here, 
Sure, they're giving you their true feelings in a very childish way. But that's because they're not coming out with, like, something. And they probably have a really shitty attitude. <laughs> like, could be you, Aquarius. Could be a Gemini and could be a Libra. But yeah, like... This person's just not even trying to be completely honest. Like, they, I mean, if they do have a love for you, they aren't letting you know it. They're too busy, like, holding that shit back and, like, just ignoring it, you know? Like, they're being childish about their emotions. And here's the Emperor. Ooh, 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 ooh. Divine pairing. Look at that. The masculine and the feminine. Ooh. All you DMDF mofos out there who works with that shit, right? There you go. Here's your divine pairing. Okay, so that kind of explains this. Because you both are like holding out for two completely different reasons. And so you're choosing between two, whoever this is. I know it's the fire sign deciding this, this Leo possibly down here, or this is you, Aquarius, trying to decide that. Because someone's definitely wanting to leave a situation where um, they're having a hard time letting go of shit because it's not working out the way they want it to. You know, like, it's starting to really get on your nerves. It, it's starting to get to the point where it's like, all right, I am really done with this and you need to fucking fix it because I am done trying to fix it. Like, either you fix it or I go, but then, like, you're still not going. And then this person's like, well, I want to go because I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of, like, I don't know, like, being open, I feel like, and then, like, having to close yourself off. Like, this emperor is lacking control and adaptation and, like, stability. And this person is lacking the ability to maturely nurture and love. Like, both of them have, like, their power plays engaged right now. They don't like each other. <laughs> they are very angry at each other. Like, they don't want to give each other anything, I feel like. Um, um, one's definitely towards more of the future, but I feel like someone is definitely walking away in this corner right here. I don't ever... He's hard to see, because he looks like the brick, right? I mean, that's the point, like, his presence is just camouflaged with the fact he's no longer there. Someone's worried about who they are, I feel like, with the Nine of Pentacles, with what they can gain and stuff. And there might be something here of an apology, or it could be somebody getting caught up in their own shit. Because they thought they could get away with it, and no. No. No, 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 no. That's not happening. Either someone's going to apologize for all of this, for not being honest about all of this right here, or they're just going to try to get away with something. It's one of the two, but there's, I, I, I feel like there's no honesty with this car over this situation right here where someone is hiding how they truly feel. And I feel like this, like the page of cups, right? Like there, it's an enticement. Like someone's enticing someone into a situation, but they're not being honest about enticing somebody like I don't, I don't know, it's kind of weird. And now, like, there's somebody who wants to go away, but they can't let go, even though they know they can't bring anything together. And I feel like this is a lot of dishonesty with the Seven of Swords reversed. Like, that, like it upright, yeah, that's dishonest, but this is, like, intentionally making it worse for yourself. Because now it's like someone caught you in a lie, but you keep lying to cover up the lie. They just told you they caught you in. Like saying you were at a store that was closed five years ago and then continuing on to show that you got an outfit from there you're wearing that day when it actually came from J.C. Pettis. Right, right. But that is the end of your reading, Aquarius, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.